Showcase Beautiful in Pelham's Ballantry. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty, 356-5412. Call on Colleen. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 15th day of September. James Spann here, and we are in another very soupy setup today, very tropical air. A uh, few uh, good downpours in progress around the state today. We're going to stay wet at times all the way through the weekend, but by the middle of next week, by golly, we think things will change. Let's look at some of the Skycam shots around the network. First off, coming from Mount Chihaw. You can see that uh, rain is falling there on a cloudy, humid mid-September day in Alabama. Temperatures up there only in the low 70s. There's the Jasper Skycam. Low clouds hanging over the Walker County Courthouse. That's the view from the King Building in downtown Jasper. And from downtown Birmingham, looking north from the top of the Daniel Building. Here's our water vapor satellite shot this afternoon. Upper air low over the northeastern corner of Texas. And again, that is uh, helping to make things unsettled across a pretty good chunk of the Mid-South and the Deep South. Surface field shows the surface low over Monroe, Louisiana, or really maybe closer to Minden, if you will, Ruston, somewhere along in there, along Interstate 20, and uh, just drifting east, and that's got us in that very moist southeast flow at the surface, and there's the radar uh, early this afternoon at 1245, and really the rain not as widespread as we had thought, but the day is still young. In fact, uh, it's raining uh, pretty good here at the uh, television station now in River Chase, and uh, we think that the uh, rain coverage will increase as we progress along through the rest of the afternoon and into the evening hours. Interesting to note the guys at Norman are still maintaining that low-end tornado probability for the southern part of Alabama, much of central and south Mississippi, and that's just out of respect for the vorticity involved with that upper airfield and the surface fields uh, with the upper low and the surface low off to the west. Severe weather not expected on a widespread basis, obviously. And yep, it's going to be wet for the next five days. This is the rain valid through Sunday morning at 7. Across our state, that's suggesting 3 to 5 inch rains here. Heaviest rain shows up over the southeastern tip of Arkansas, 6.2 inches around Crossette. And uh, again, I certainly agree with that because we all know these kind of tropical downpours can drop 1 or 2 inches of rain in no time at all. And we should have plenty of those. Tropical cyclone activity in the Atlantic Basin, three disturbed areas, but none of them uh, show any sign of organization, nor do they have any promise of organization anytime soon. Uh, there's the satellite shot, uh, kind of an upper trough from the Bahamas northeast. And then what's left of Fred is out there around uh, 48 west and 22 north. On the right-hand part of the screen, a bit of convection there, but again, nothing organized. Dry air all around that thing, and the odds of any tropical storms forming anytime soon are very, very small. We'll look at the uh, modeling here. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Wednesday. Upper low around Shreveport. Polar jet way up north, down below. Surface low, again, near Shreveport. The thing basically vertically stacked, and we stay awfully moist, so... Uh, Occasional showers, maybe a thunderstorm. Same thing Thursday. You're going to see a whole lot of green on this board. The surface low is over uh, Louisiana. Friday, same deal. The low becoming broad and diffuse. And then Saturday starting off the weekend, no change. Extremely moist air mass. Not a super big trigger for rain, though, so kind of like today. I don't think it'll rain all day, but it could rain at any time on Saturday. And on Sunday, no change. Now look at Monday. Here comes the change. Big old 594 heat bubble developing in the Pacific Northwest. That's going to uh, pump up the ridge over western Canada and a downstream trough over the central U.S. And down below that, again, Monday looks pretty wet. I mean, really, today all the way through early next week. Uh, there's going to be a good chance of some rain at times just about every day. Tuesday, the trough deepens. And here comes a cold front. Uh, looks like that might be passing through Tuesday morning, but that certainly suggests a, a change in the weather, a transition day, maybe some morning showers. And then uh, Wednesday, the 23rd, it looks cool, cooler, drier, and sunny, not as humid. And on the 24th, yeah, look at that cool air advection. Wow, that looks like fall right there. Uh, the 540 thickness line down to the Ohio River, almost down to Louisville. And again, you can see that those thickness values are dropping off. And you know, by golly, that might get us in 
the 40s in spots out there toward the end of next week. End of the forecast period. This is the 1st of October. Just saying that word sounds good. Uh, warm ridge over the southeast. Polar jet up north. We'll have a battle zone going on there between the uh, warmth and the cooler air that's over Canada. And uh, some type of tropical system shows up out there in the Atlantic east of the Bahamas. But nothing on this run in the Gulf of Mexico. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by... 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.